it's Glenn from Mozzie Tech Heads here. We're another week and another show. How he's doing? It's the 24th of November 2016. It is episode 511. Thanks to Jace and Will for sitting in last week uh, when I couldn't make it to uh, to the recording. So the boys did pretty well, didn't you think? I I think so. They, they must have loved it so much that they punched out an episode of Obsidian Loft this week. So good on good on the boys. Uh, you can get us on the AussieTechRadio.com. That's all the instructions you need if you want to, to find out how to how to stream live but the easiest way is get onto the tune in radio app cross platform app search for aussie tech radio it's 24 7 wall-to-wall podcast from australia new zealand and yes look that way i'm on the hunt for some more because i know they do repeat if you if you listen to it for one day you might you'll probably get the get the same shows the next day but looking for more shows so if you have got a podcast uh tech podcast and you do want it in the mix just send me an email and uh, why not? We are brought to you by Aussie Tech Heads Web Hosting, which is at athwebhosting.com.au. And also facebook.com forward slash Aussie Tech Heads, youtube.com forward slash Aussie Tech Heads. Other podcasts to look out for is the Aussie Mac Zone. And uh, oh, yeah, we've got an Apple story tonight, which uh, which could be good if you, if you can listen to the podcast before Friday's over. Uh, yeah, Aussie Mac Zone, Obsidian Loft, Old Fart Geeks, and the Aussie Tech Security. All right, now no Jason and Will this week. Last week was too much for him, but we do have someone from the wilderness we haven't heard from for a while. Have we, Eric? How you doing, gentlemen? <laughs> good, listeners, to... viewers. Good to Peace see you. Out. Good. good. How's things Thank going? You know. How's things going? Good, good. Was very busy there for a period, as you know. Uh, my semester is finished for this uh, year. Oh, good, good. For my study, so I've got some a little bit of time yeah. before Christmas. Oh, good stuff. Good to see. Now, what's been going on in tech news? I think it's been a bit slow this week. I don't know if you found it slow getting stories, but uh... a little bit slow for a couple of weeks. But um, it has. Thankfully, Apple Apple have given us um, some comical stories we can talk about. <laughs> well, let's let's bring up the. Oh, look, I'll start with my first. This is not a comical one, but I'll, I'll get this out of the way because it is time sensitive. So hopefully that if you are listening to us either the Thursday or the Friday, uh, you'll you'll and you're interested in buying something Apple, you will jump right on this. Otherwise, if you miss it and you're listening Saturday onwards, uh, too late. I'm sorry, but anyway, so Apple brings back the online Black Friday sales. Now they weren't here last year. They they decided they wouldn't want to do it. But this year, uh, this yeah, this year they're back. So, uh, what do you think about those? Ah, uh, you know, well, well, I won't be, I won't be participating. Um, I saw that in the in the email, and I thought, oh, you know, it's a bit of a sale. Apple, see, and the fact that they used a watch as their yes. as their product to sell the sale. I thought that that might have been the only thing that was going to be on sale. So well, probably because <laughs> it's anything that's they're not selling any of them. You're right. I think I remember talking to you a couple of weeks ago, and you said, "Yeah, you go into the Apple shop, and it's like you know how they're always so busy, but yeah, there's just one except table for the watch bench. Yeah, except one table that there's no one around. Well, look, I'm no style icon or guru <laughs> or visionary or designer, but common sense. Mm. Um. You don't bring out a high tech watch that looks like something that was made in 1982 by Casio. Yeah, look, it has probably got a little bit of that feeling to it, but um, yeah. But, but anyway, yeah. So the watches, the watches there. But anyway, what's going on is the Black Friday tomorrow, which is the Friday, uh, and it appears from what I can read is it just might be online. So uh, I'm not sure if the specials. Uh, I don't think. I think Apple would be smart to make it in store as well. Right. Right. I think that would, well, well, they'd so, be smart to do that because I'm in the I'm in the uh, market for an iPad Mini, as you know, right. and I'm thinking what about well, an iPod Mini Pro with a pen, you know, so you can use the pen. They're like a thousand bucks. Oh, are they? The iPad Pro. Oh, that's the big one, but they've yeah. got an iPad Pro Mini. Right. How much are they? Well, why don't you keep chatting away, and I'll find out for you. Rightio. Well, let's. Uh, Yes, okay, I will. Now, uh, so anyway, so I might be in the market for a little iPad, so I'm thinking, well, maybe I've just got to make up my mind, like, now. But we don't know what the specials are. There's no idea of what they're going to be and what they're going to be on. It's only conjecture at this stage. But, yes, so the, but the, the, the after the year of absence, the Black Friday sale is back. Now, Black Friday sales, if you don't know, it's sort of big in the oh, US. The store's, the store's closed, so they must be updating their website. Oh, it's closed. Hmm. 
Well, there you go. Wouldn't you think... Well, I don't understand that. Why would they close the store? Why not have the page ready to go? Do they really need to close it? Or they they, they, they must, I suppose. They must be just doing the updates. Well, someone in the past has mentioned this, that My store when they the shut store. down the online store... Um, How do you get to the store? They just go to click on any of the products there and, and then it'll, you know, click buy. Oh, okay. Click on the product and then click buy. Um, mm. You click on buy and they shut, it, when they shut, they just don't shut down. You know how, for example, everyone's asleep in whatever country, yeah. right? Because it's different time zones. Yeah. So you wouldn't need to shut their store down. You need to just shut it down, the stores that you're doing. Yes. But they, apparently they shut down their stores worldwide to update the websites at, in one hit. Oh, let's have a look. They don't do it by country. You're right, but that doesn't serve any purpose, does it? Because, 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 like we're gonna be on Friday. Because what's it now? It's only it's Thursday. Yeah, we're here, gonna we're gonna and it's the... Wednesday in America, right? So they can't buy anything, and it's only Wednesday. Yeah, but then their stores down, so they'll be able to see what the specials are going to be. Or no. oh no, there's the this is the American store, so well, their store's the still open. Store. No, my I just went to the American store. It's shut. No, that's still open. On mine, it is. Your is it? Yeah. No, the Aussie store is shut. So anyway, the iPad, oh, okay, so, the so iPad Pro. Okay. How much is that? The nine-inch one. Oh, this is US dollars, but the nine-point-seven inches, five ninety-nine. Okay, six hundred. So eight hundred. Yeah. Plus tax eight eighty. But see, I'm thinking that that's just going to be too. I, I I I don't know. I sort of felt not fell in love. <laughs> But I sort of did a little bit with the iPad Mini, uh, because you've like, got an iPad Mini, don't you? Yeah, I was a broken one. It was the first generation. Oh, iPad Mini one. Yeah, someone give it to me because the screen was just pretty much smashed, smashed to smithereens, and uh, so I, I had it, and I started using it. You could still use it, and I thought, oh, this is not too bad. Like it's a bit bigger than the phone, so I could actually read it. You're right. You know, yeah. a little bit easier. So I thought I sort of. You know, I thought, oh, I wouldn't mind that. But anyway, I'll, I'm going to make up my mind tomorrow, obviously. So we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, but anyway, yeah, so the Black Friday started in the US. It's a big shopping day. Uh, what is it, before Thanksgiving or something? And which means that all these online stores have just, they go crazy with pricing mm. and prices. Amazon Amazon will have a, they're, 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 they're quite big on their Black Friday sales as well. Like another another site that I know, I saw, actually I bought a, a course from Udemy. They were having Black Friday sales, like courses that were two hundred dollars were fifteen dollars. Yeah, so I bought a I bought a uh, ethical hacking course. So uh, ethical what hacking? Okay. Yeah, so I thought oh, I'll go through that, and you know, might want to email that to Julian Assange. <laughs> yeah, he's probably written it. <laughs> Even Snowden. Written. Even Snowden. Um, yeah, it was oh that was a, that was just wild what he's been doing. I think he's been quiet now, hasn't he? After no you, more. You got to watch the movie Snowden. Is that a good one? Oh, it's a good movie. Yeah. Is it like a doco or is it a... No, no, it's a proper movie. It's a dramatic um, recreation of what actually went on. And you will just shake your head. Yeah, right. Right. Full on. Uh, it's good. Very yeah. good. Mm. And you'll understand it too. It's very well written. Yeah, okay. Cool. Well, I'll have a... Is it just called Snowden? I've got to write some of these things down, eh? Because people give you tips all the time. You should get an app for that. You know, so you just go... Uh, maybe that. add that to the list. Yeah, add that to the list. All right, uh, let's get on to some of your your funny Apple stories then, Eric. What do you? Call well, they're not really funny. Probably I'm just cynical, so I think they're funny. Mm. Um, <clears throat> Apple to swap faulty iPhone S batteries. Oh, that's your story. No, no go I'm, on. Go I won't jump down that. No, no, no. Okay, we could do your selfie one, oh, idiots. <laughs> um, well, this is what I find a little bit disturbing rather than funny. Hmm. Apple abandons the development of wireless routers. I read that, yes. So yes. that the, you know, your Airport Express with the time capsule on it and it's got storage and mm. Wi-Fi gone. So what are they going to do for the, for the, the time well, I don't capsule? Know. I think that they, it sounds like they're just going to not, de- if they're not going to develop them, mm. they're not just going to keep doing the old ones, So which means they're not keeping up with the latest, you know, a, B, G, N, Z, whatever, you know, um, you yeah, know the, whatever, the, what's that called? Yeah, the standard the frequencies and stuff, yeah. Do. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
Is this just another? Yeah, I didn't know this. Mm. Apple stopped making screens as well. As in, they stopped making. You know, they used. <clears throat> they used to stand make alone external monitors. Right. You know those standalone external monitors. They don't make them anymore. Right. Right. That's really bizarre. Yeah. Okay. Really, really bizarre. But I suppose why would you, you could go? You could go into. If you go to the Apple store, you will not find a screen for sale. But why would you want a screen? Because cool. the computers are the screen, really. Yeah, but, you know, external screens, you can plug it into anything, so you can have three screens. And, oh, okay. You know. So it's all, like, some symmetry. You're getting the yeah. thing shway so, happening. A lot of the graphic designers used to have, you know, three, three Apple screens plugged into a, a Mac Pro, for example. Right, right. Yeah. Now, yeah. Now nothing. Yeah, no. I suppose, like, look, I had, I've got two screens in front of me, and I did have both, I bought them both at the same time, and, then, you know, they were all nice and similar and so they match. symmetrical, but one of them died, and now I've got a different one, mm. and they're not as symmetrical. Not that I really care, I don't really care, I'm not, I'm not anal like that. The, but, the other thing they used to do as well is when you bought an iMac, mm. um, you know, it's obviously got the hard drive and all that, so it's a computer. Yeah. But you could also, you, you were at one point, a couple of years ago, you could use the iMac as a separate screen. Oh, yeah, right. Yes. Right. But now okay. you can't do that now anyway. Because what are they doing? Are they trying, oh, well, if you want, you know, you're going to have to buy two iMacs instead of, you know, hooking <laughs> oh, no. one up to a, you know. And what about the, the, those $5,000 ones? What are they? The Mac? Gone. The Mac? No, the oh. Mac, the Mac, the, the, the business the, computers. in The, the Mac s- Pro, that's still there. The circle thing. Yeah, yeah, but they haven't updated that for how long? But what you got to buy a screen for them. So yes, what, that's right. You so, do. So what do you buy? You buy just some I don't know. tin pot Asus? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. It's just bizarre. So so where where has this come from? Timmy? There's, there's this sort of decision. I reckon it's Timmy because he's always good of he's always full of good decisions, Timmy. Mm. So mm. I reckon it's from Timmy. Now so they're t- not making the routers. Yep. Um, I reckon Apple TV will be the next to go. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Because he wants you to meet you see the thing is the only thing Timmy's done. Since he got there, other than just let piss everybody off that they want to leave, mm. is put out the watch, right? Do you reckon you know, he's you get rid of routers? You get rid of the Apple TV. Suddenly, your watch is looking good, isn't it? Hmm. Well, maybe that you sh- you shrink the product line down, and I suppose you can say, well, well, you, that's right. You shrink the product line down, and then you can say the third best selling product is my watch. Whereas so, prior to that, it would have been the router. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, the TV. and then the the dongles. Now, if you, oh, the dog, the dongles if, you, up. if you want to watch something that is hilariously funny, right? I mean, like you don't you don't sit down and laugh at something on Facebook very often when you're sitting by yourself and just laughing out loud. Well, this, so funny. Yeah, I I shared so cleverly made. Uh, Glenn will post a link. No, it's on the can. Facebook page now. On oh, the it's Oz- on the Facebook yeah, page. Yeah, the Aussie Tech Gets Facebook page. It's I'd had it up something like the. Ex Mac designer or something talks about dongles or something like that, and it's right. all about uh, dongles and the, the removal of the ports from the computer, and it is totally hilarious. It's a <coughs> piss take, and it is just totally well. Well, well they've gone down hilarious. the same ra- road they did with the phone. Let's get rid of everything, mm. and it's to the point now. It's going. Here's your phone. Uh, yeah. Battery's full when you buy it, and once it's dead, you've got to buy another one. Yes. Because we're not going to give you a charger now. No, no holes at all. <laughs> That's right. You know, I think the video that the video that I posted even uh, uh, broached that question, didn't they? Didn't he say he goes even the phones yeah. you got to buy a dongle to hook into the, the MacBook now as well? Yeah. And wonder how funny we said. Is you, are you going to continue working for Apple? He goes no. I'm going to go start a company making dongles. It, it, it is truly, good money. It is truly hilarious, and you got to watch it with audio because the guy laughing is half the. The half the fun and very, very oh the old Barry Beats on him fair income. Get some. It's very good. You should <laughs> watch it. But yeah, that that, that is a concern because um, my whole house is wired with um, Apple, uh, you know, airport wire, you know, routers and whatnot. Mm. And um, you know, every few years you want to upgrade that. Not, what am I going to upgrade it with now? Netgear? I don't think so. What a yeah. piece of rubbish they are. I don't understand why they'd be do- why they'd be doing this. Like I really I don't, don't get it. I don't get it. Because, you know well, what he should be getting rid of? The watch. Yeah, well, they mustn't be selling. These things just mustn't be selling. They're not. And I, I, I'm guessing 
But the biggest discount are on the watches on Friday. Oh, yeah, no doubt. No doubt. And they did it with the MacBook Pros, right? With a no, no, uh, no, no, nothing to plug in. There's only one. Re- there's only one reason I'd buy an Apple Watch tomorrow. And that there's is no reason I would buy one. And if it's twenty bucks, <laughs> no, I even wouldn't. Seriously, I wouldn't even pay twenty dollars. I'd pay twenty. I wouldn't, because you know, you, you're thing is, you're still inheriting a pain in the neck, regardless of price, and you still got to take it off every night and charge it. But couldn't you, couldn't you get a hammer to it? Wouldn't you get twenty dollars worth of fun out of it? Oh, look, I could probably do a YouTube video. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, but anyway, look. And, and, and pick the hell out of it. Mm. But, yeah, look, I don't know. Why would they be getting rid of the airport? I've got an airport, a little airport express. Look at four of them. Um, I don't know. You know one, one, two, four of them, plus the big one, the airport extreme. Yeah. So people... Oh, the, sorry, airport time capsule, sorry. Yes. And that's got, got the hard that. drive in it, is that right? It's got the hard drive in it. That's two gig, two gig backup drive. Yeah. Can you? Is that is that that time capsule? You can replace the hard drives. Uh, haven't tried. Don't know. All right. Well, if you can't replace them, I can see why they're getting rid of those, because that's dodgy. Because hard drives well, don't last forever, so that's dodgy. But well, are they might yes, be... maybe so. You should be able to surely at least update it. Bring in another one where it's replaceable. Yeah. I can't see. I just they obviously mustn't be selling. That's the only reason I can think of. But well, anyway, you think you think that they'd have a good reason? Yeah, well, you'd hope so. But uh, but anyway, well, they don't promote them. This is the problem. They don't promote them. Mm. Um, they don't. But then they, if they and a lot of time, reason products don't sell is because they're not updated. Now, if they kept the same Mac they've had for the last three years, they, their sales would slow as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here's a part of your this story here that you pulled out was uh, exiting the router business could make Apple's product ecosystem less sticky. Some features of the airport routers, including wireless music playback, require an Apple device like an iPhone or a Mac computer. Yeah. If yeah. the company no longer sells wireless routers, some may have a reason to use other phones and PCs. That's right. Because, you know, look, the thing was with the, with the routers, yes, it's the same as the iPhones. They are pretty easy to configure. Very easy. There's an app and you just bang and away you go. Yeah, yeah look, that's, that, that's probably something I probably would have... Like, even if they just stop developing, can't they push the people away for a five, you know, for a year or something until another um, standard comes out and get them back in to update. Couldn't they just, yeah. just keep producing the existing... I, I, just, I don't get it. I think it's very short-sighted. Hmm. Anyway, or maybe they're getting rid of it because it's got too many portholes. Yes, it could do. It could do. Oh, no, can't sell them anymore. We only need one <laughs> porthole. And that's got three, so it's gone. Yeah, that's right. Get a dongle. We'll get a dongle. Yeah, it's got a dongle. I bet you they start selling dongle. Their next product will be dongles. Mm. Yes. Dongle for everything. That's right. The Apple dongle for everything. Now, look, I, I don't want to sort of, you know, um, have a whole, whole show on Apple, but... There's nothing really out there, and my next story is going to be another Apple one, so we'll get that out of the way. Look, I've got a Google one, I've got a selfie one, and that's about it. <laughs> There's not much going on. So, but look, not we'll much get... going on, I know. No, we'll get rid Leading of... Leading up to Christmas was a bit slow. Yeah, yeah. So we'll get rid of uh, this other story about the Apple iPhone 6S batteries. Now, Apple wants to swap the faulty iPhone successes because some of them do have battery issues. The phones that were, have the issue were manufactured between September and October last year, 2015. Now, affected devices will suddenly stop working even though the handset battery has plenty of charge. Well, that was sort of happening to mine. I don't know yep. if, if you remember, I took mine in and they yep. replaced yep. it. Yep. Uh, it would just turn off at 30% and then I'd plug it in to the power. It would power back up. And it would come back at like forty percent. That's weird. So anyone with a phone. Well, my daughter's got, my, my oldest has got an iPhone six, not the, not the plus. And the other day she was telling me that it was on seventy percent and it just shut off. Right, well, an iPhone six. Yes. Well, that's another problem. Oh, not a six plus. Not a six plus. I've got the six plus, and I do have problems with these from time to time, main, mainly on the touch. Yeah. Well, that's part but, of the problem. Yeah, that's part of the problem. So I could take these back for freebies. I would. Because the battery swap program comes only a few days after Apple announced a separate offer intended to fix a fault on the iPhone 6 Plus. So that problem meant that the touchscreens on some of the handsets steadily became less and less responsive, as if they'd been accidentally dropped on a hard service a few times. 
So you mm-hmm. haven't dropped yours? No, nope, never dropped mine. And yeah. when I do drop my phone, they tend to smash mm. and I replace them. Right. So if they've got a clean, if it's got a screen that isn't broken, it means I've never dropped it. Right. Yeah. Well, I've dropped, I dropped my five and uh, thankfully picked it back up. It was working fine. And then I think about like six months later, the speaker stopped working. It was really weird. Well, that's right. I remember yeah. that. It was just really weird. So I went over to them. They said, oh, you dropped it. You got to buy a new one. Ha, <laughs> ha. Where do you so, find that on their website? What? For example. What? Find the, what? The um, replacement, you know, on you know, they're, they're replacing this, that, and the other. And so they don't, they don't, it's not on the website anywhere. So is there no link in that story? No, no. But on the Apple website, where would I find a, a media release, for example? Yes, but could like if you look in the story, wouldn't there's no link? No, I don't think so. Not on the BBC document that I've gone to. Okay, let's have a look. Hang on, let me see. It said in a statement, mm-hmm. yeah, oh, between. Here we go. What's his replacement process? Let's see what they say. Here we say. go. Did you get that iPhone six? I read somewhere that they're going to charge you for it. Have you got that page? The 6S program for unexpected shutdown yes. issues? Replacement process. Choose one of the services below, blah, blah, blah. To repair your 6 blah, 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 blah. Turn it off. Blah, blah, blah. Apple may restrict or limit repair to the original country you purchase. That's oh, fine. Kogan. If you believe your... Why would they do that anyway? That's rubbish, isn't it? That's just absolute rubbish. If you believe your success was affected by this issue you and you paid to replace your battery, you can contact Apple about a refund. Wow, there you go. So if you want, if you are suffering from this issue like Eric, let's, well, you can choose a country, Australia. Same thing. Looks like it's free. Uh, so, yeah, follow the show notes. Go to the show notes at uh, aussietechheads.com.au forward slash podcast and weave your way through to the show notes and just uh, click on that. And there will be follow links inside the story and you'll get to wherever you want to go. Hmm. But I can't see anything about the iPhone 6, only the 6S. Right. So it will be in support somewhere, I'm assuming. So let's go back. Hang on. 6. Uh, does it? Story go on about the six success. Yeah, the Apple Insider. Okay, so the Apple Insider website suggested that the fault with the iPhone six could be traced. Oh, that was the the fault. No response. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. They, they hide it very well. These media releases. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, six, yeah. Apple to fix six plus touch disease for free. What's in this one? Uh, Apple has started offering blah, 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 in a blog post about the problem in August. So, a design. No, oh, this is I fix it. Okay. Uh, well, I suppose you just have to ask Apple about it. So, um, here we go. You go and follow your nose on the internet or uh, go and ask. You did a Google. Yeah, Dr. Google. Yeah, all right. So they're the, going to charge for this. They're going to charge for this one. Oh, right. Why is that though? Because, because you've for, dropped it. Well, because they're they're good people. They're going to charge you. It looks like. Well, I read somewhere during the week that if you want your screen replaced, they're going to charge you, even though they know it's their fault. Well, maybe because they're saying that it's big, that it only goes like that because you've dropped it. Yeah, but that's rubbish. Yeah, well, if that's the yeah, I suppose you have got to. Then start proving it, haven't you? They got little well, things inside them, haven't they? Two hundred and twenty-eight dollars. They're going to charge you for it. Yeah, it that's is. yeah, that's a that's lot. Rubbish. Hmm. But anyway, moving on. Let's get this Apple stuff out of the way. What's Johnny Ives doing? Has he resurfaced somewhere? Yeah, in a white room. <laughs> of course. Where else would he be? With his look at his photo. <laughs> it's so serious. Where so, is he? so what's Where'd he going, Johnny? What's he been up to? Come back. <laughs> oh, I didn't see. Where's his photo gone? Is there a photo down there? Oh, there was a photo on the article. I'll get, I'll get one up while you tell us about him. Over the last few days, speculation has begun brewing over the potential winding down of Johnny Ives' career at Apple, where he works as the company's chief design officer. Another person getting sick of Timmy Cook. That's yeah. what that is. Weren't we, weren't we call on this one as well? Yes, we called this one as well. During an episode of the talk show uh, podcast, uh, with uh, John Gruber, mm. 
Um, that's the look on his face when <laughs> Tim Cook said, um, I'm making a watch. That's the look on uh, his face when he says, I'm not on your side. That's right. <laughs> okay. uh, he says here, John Groove mentioned that he had recently heard I've had been checked out or not as directly involved with product design as Apple. Yeah, that's a smart move. Push him out mm. and get focused on architecture projects for its can- – so he's, not, he's an architect now. All right. Okay. Earlier this week, a couple of websites began, sh- began sharing Gruber's words in stories angled with Ives lessening involvement at Apple, backed up by a recent release of, of design by Apple in California, which may look like the designer's swan song within the company. Do you think that these people say, Johnny, he's, uh, he's, he's come through under Steve Jobs, and do you think that things aren't going right and he's standing his ground on a few issues and yes. Tim's just going, well, you know what, buddy, uh, thanks. I'm, I'm the boss now. Yeah. I'm Jesus Christ. Yeah. You know, the king is dead. Long live the king. Yeah, so you reckon there, there could be some friction? Uh, absolutely. Mm. After, half the staff that have left since Timmy Cook's been there has been cause of friction. Hmm. Because he's a he's a he's a very um, he's not a visionary. No, no, we've spoken about that before, haven't we? You know, he's a he's a bland he's vanilla. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't really have an idea, and he likes yes men around him. Timmy Cook. Yep, and that's going to be the death of Apple. Well, that's what I was just going to say that's a sure way to fail, isn't it? When you all you're hearing is yes, how good you are. Yes, you're so good. You're so good. Oh, I got, I, and, I, and I'm not going to say it here, but I know what sort of people he'd be hiring in as replacements too. I'm not going to say it here, but I you know what I'm a, talking about. Yeah, I know. I could have a good guess about that. Now, when I first, yep. yeah, so um, yeah, so so what's the story about? <laughs> so what was it about again? The story is that they think he's on his way out. Right. That's uh, right. That's right. Yes. And um, they're, they're obviously they're denying it, saying that he's not going anywhere. Uh, but Look less, at less, less involvement. And um, like you said, I think it's, there's some friction between him and Jesus. Why do you think he's hanging around? Like, obviously, he doesn't need the money. So if there's a bit doesn't of a... need the money. Johnny Ives is a billionaire. So if he doesn't need the, the money, is it just he's... he's... I think because he loves what he does. Yeah, and he doesn't want to let it go because once he... If he says, stick it his up legacy backside... will be If he goes, mm. his legacy will be ruined. Yeah, yeah. But they will just... They will wipe it clean as if he was never there. Well, I reckon what I reckon Tim, that's the Tim Cook way. He'll be probably going through his mind. I reckon he'll be thinking, you know what, buddy, Cook's going to go before me. That's what I reckon he's hanging in for. He's going, nah, I'm better than this bloke. And if anyone goes, it'll be him because he hasn't got any runs on the board, and I have. Yeah. Would he have? A, would he have a shot at the top job? Would he? Do you think he? No, be... I don't think he wants it. I think he just wants to be designer. He left alone to design nice looking products without any interference from people who don't know what they're talking about, mm. like Tim Cook. There could be a job at Asus for him. Oh, look, that anyone, you know you'd, you know who'd grab him in a heartbeat? Any car manufacturing company, for yeah. example, like, you know, BMW, you know, Ferrari, Tesla. Mm. Yep. Yeah, well, uh, look, it's getting away from Apple then, because, um, I don't know. Now Google stops booking Australian profits in Singapore. So this is yes. all, yeah, this is coming around because of the GST and the government uh, and the tax uh, and you know this penny pinching government just stop, stop spending money. money. Well, that that's that's the underlying issue, isn't it? But I think oh, look, yeah, I, I, is out of control, and they're taxing everything that moves now. They're they're, hmm. a, they're the Labor Party in disguise. Yeah, but look, but I just think I look, I think. That these companies they they make the money in the country in Australia they probably do should should pay tax. Oh look, I agree but, with that. If you're if you're based in this country, and your customer pays you, and they're also in Australia, and you're based in Australia, mm. right? Well, then that should be booked here. Yes. Yeah. Now, if you're in Australia, but a company from overseas buys from you, well, you, as far as I'm concerned, you can book that anywhere you want. But mm. Mm. domestically. Yes, they should book it here. But how's when you go to the airport in Brisbane? Now, I don't know if you've seen this, This is, and you might be able to, next time you go, you might have to be on the lookout for it. But there was a booth. I noticed when I was there, there was a booth or a little window or whatever. Now, people that were going overseas, now, I can't be sure if they were returning overseas or just going overseas to return back. But right. say, say that they even 
just say they were returning to go back overseas to live, to home, right? Back home. We're going back home. There was a little booth. You keep all your receipts, and then th- this mob, this booth, will refund you the GST that you've paid. That's right. Why? Like, why? They, they, they do that in most countries. It's just a trade arrangement that I think it's got to be, it's only certain goods over a certain amount. Like, for example, if you bought, uh, you know, a computer or, you know, uh, some jewellery or whatever, right, a camera, hmm. phone, for example. Well, um, why? Most, most, um, most countries do that. But the sales tax or the GST in our case yeah. gets refunded at the airport. Alright. Anyway, so and Google has moved the provision of the Google Australia has moved the provision of the vast majority of its products out of Singapore and back into Australia following a restructure that is likely to have a big impact on its local tax bill. Now, the company was forced to restructure its local operations in January to count revenue that was generated from Australia in the country or face penalties of double tax under new laws that target tax avoidance. Uh, with effect from 1st of November, that's already gone, so it's, it's yeah. now. Uh, the Google, uh, the Singapore is assigning your agreement for the G... Uh, yeah, that's all too complicated. But anyway, so it's, uh, it's moving from... They're booking it now in Australia. So this means that from November, Google Australia will be providing services to you and will be invoicing you for those services. That is Google Australia. The change yep. is likely to have a big impact on Google's Australian financial results for the 2016 financial year. Its advertising revenue in Australia alone is apparently re- reportedly sits around two billion. That's a lot in revenue alone. Wow! So in last year, before the restructure, the company posted Australian net profit of 47.1 million on revenue of 502 million. So its tax bill was 16 million. Yep. So what you pay tax on the, the net, though, don't you? On the net. On the net. Well, yeah. see, if you look at that, right, forgetting, putting aside whether or not the $502 million should be larger, if, you know, let's assume half of that was sitting in Singapore and the other half was here, mm. um, most people would look at that and go, okay, you want to make at least 10% of your turnover as your profit, right? Yep. And that's close to that. And then you pay tax on your net profit. Now, at $2 billion, if it is $2 billion, 10% of that would be 200 million. Yes. Yeah. And your 30% of 200 million is 60 million. Yeah. They paid 16. And they paid 16. So they'll get a, the government will get a 30 odd million dollar, you know, kickoff. Hmm. Yeah. So I look, I suppose well, all the other multinationals are going to have to follow the same suit, aren't they? They're going to have to. Yes. Well, they will. Microsoft, Apple. Apple, the Adobe. I think Adobe, we had a story yeah. a few weeks ago, they've already started charging the GST. Yeah, on their yeah. products. But see, but, there's the thing is, there are many other ways around this. Yes, they'll book it in Australia, and and they'll go, okay, good on you. Your bases are now looking healthy. Mm. Then they'll have all these other fees paid out. Mm. Yeah. Um, so what they were doing before, instead of going, okay, we'll book it here, then we'll pay a certain percentage out for royalties or license fees or uh, you know intellectual property rights mm. and all this sort of stuff, right? So the money dollar would come in. 50 cents would go out in those sort of fees. Hmm. But in, back then they're going, oh, look, forget all that. We'll just book the whole thing over there. Yeah. But but I'd be right. Would I be right in saying that, that it only goes to Singapore? Well, it was going to Singapore or whatever else because what Singapore's company tax rate 17% and our tax rate's 30%. Yeah. So that's why it was going overseas. That's right. Well, so, that's, not only that, the, that's, the thing is Singapore have also got a rule, so Hong Kong's the same, that... They only tax um, f- uh, tax income that was generated in Singapore. Right. Right. So if you're oh, uh, a yeah. Singapore Chinese restaurant and you sell to a customer there, mm. who's Singaporean, right? That's domestically created income. Yeah. Directly domestically generated income. But if you're uh, just say I don't know a computer firm that sells components and uh, Half your sales are to the Singaporean public, uh, and the other half are to people outside of Singapore. You don't pay tax right. on the sales generated outside Singapore. So what's effectively happening <coughs> is that all, even though that money's going to Singapore and the tax rate seventeen percent, they're not actually paying any tax on it. Right. 
Right. So there's no well, there's no because way that we can out outside of Singapore. What's that? There's no way that we, as a country, can compete with paying no tax. So no. So so the only way to a do a lot it, of countries like the UK, America, and Australia will tax you on income regardless of where it comes from. Right? What, yeah. Whatever country it comes from. Yeah. Then you've got these financial centres like Hong Kong and Singapore, who only tax you for the most part on income generated within that country. Mm. Yeah. Well, look, I suppose, yeah, if you, if, if, you can't, if you don't pay tax in Singapore, well, it's hard to make an argument that reducing the company tax rate over here is going to help that. Because... Well, the only way they're going to make it attractive here is that, like, for example, if, Singapore, if, if, if Google have like a, a time frame, like we'll give you this benefit for five years, mm. and then, then you start paying 17%, the only way Australia can compete with that was by saying, well, we'll do the same thing. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty complex, isn't it? That's, mm. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, yeah. Well, you wait till Trumpy drops the tax rate to 15 cents in the dollar. Well, in America. well, it's going to help American. Well, it'll help them. And the amount of money that's going to fly out of this country. Hmm. Well, he's, well, he's got a uh, repatriation tax of 10% he's bringing in. Yes, is it? Yeah, so I'm, well, he actually he had a chat to Timmy. He did. Today. Yes, he did. And, and he Bill, told Timmy, apparently. Oh, see, when he was going for his uh, his campaign or or his movement, he was saying, you know, we will force manufacturers back to America. And remember, you and I were saying that's going to be pretty hard mm. without any incentives. You're not going to force them. Well, his incentive was that if if it's built in China, when it comes back to America, they're going to have to pay 30% tax. Well, or, or some sort of tariff, right? But mm. what he said to him is, look, mate, if you bring it back, I'll give you a tax incentive to bring it back. Mm. Uh, well, and now that's the smart thing to do. But that's not pay 30% tax when you bring it back in. Make it no, in. no, what he'll do is you'll probably lower their corporate tax rate, right? Because Americans pay 30 cents or something similar. But he's going to lower it to 15. I'd say to Apple, you, mate, you bring up, you put manufacturing plants in here and we'll tax you 10%. Because mm. mm. I know, like, you know, like a, a lot of people are saying, well, you know, it's going to hurt Australia and everything. Well, I think it probably will. But it just yeah, means that we've, we've just got to get with it and sort ourselves out then, doesn't oh, it? Like, we've just got to get with it the ourselves. The problem with this country is that they are so addicted to high tax rates and so addicted to to vicious, wasteful spending at a government level, that they just cannot get their snoffs, their snots, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> their snouts out of the trough. Mm. So yeah. To them, they, it's just so foreign to them to go actually go, hey, let's be efficient. It just, it's just, it, it's like they look at you like you got two heads. <laughs> That's right. Now talking about things that are on the rise, like high tax rates and everything, the rise of deaths from selfies is increasing. At Idiots. Some would say an alarming rate. Now, researchers have found that 15 selfie takers died in 2014. 39 died in 2015. And 73 died in the first eight months of 2016. Mm. What's going on? Well, it's stupidity. Uh, I call it the Darwin Awards. Yes. The survival of the stupid or not the survival of the smartest. And... Look, yeah, so without, the, without saying callous, the more, the less idiots there are on this planet, the better. <laughs> yeah, that's callous. Now, the first report by a reputable news source. Oh, don't you love that? By a reputable news source. Why not just name it? So the first report. That'd be, that'd be, that'd be MSNBC. Could be. They're still crying. Of, now, the first report <laughs> of a selfie taker dying while snapping a picture was in March 2014. So since then. The researchers found there have been 127 recorded incidents of selfie deaths across the world. Now, 76 of these took place in India, 9 in Pakistan, 8 in US and 6 in Russia. Now, this story goes on to say why they think th th this amount took place in these particular regions. The most likely cause of death was f is it? the most likely cause of death was falling from a great height with people going to extreme lengths to take a selfie on cliffs or top of buildings. Stupid. Yeah, well, I've got a picture here. There's one here. Have a look at that. That is mental. I don't know if you can look see at, that. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. He's putting other people in danger as well. Hmm. 
but that is just mental. So, um, yeah, so with people going to extremely so, so in India, there are more selfie deaths related to trains, uh, trains, which researchers said are due to the belief that post posing on or next to train tracks with their best friend is regarded as romantic and a sign of never ending friendship. In the US and uh, Russia, well, once a train hits you, it's it's not, not never ending anymore, is it? Well, if both in heaven, it's never ending. It's ended. So, it's ended. Well, it's ended on this mortal coil to be to be continued elsewhere. Now, in the US and Russia, a high proportion of deaths occur due to weapons, which which researchers believe is the most likely due to gun laws in the in those countries. Now, I don't know if I can get this other picture. I don't know if I can show you this other picture because it's I didn't bring it across but i'll tell you go and have a look at the show notes the pictures will be in the show notes and and especially if you're not if you're on the audio and you can't see what i just put up but the one i just put up i don't know how high this is like the camera does play tricks you know when you when it's high enough it is high enough you'd be high enough to know that if you feel you'd be gone yes so it's like i don't know what you would call this it's like a these two a man and a lady are standing on like I don't know, like a, 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 a top of a, maybe a mobile phone tower, like a beacon which is on top of a high rise. Yeah. So they're standing. There's not much room up there, and there's she's got high heels on, so it looks like they must have climbed up. Yeah. yeah. Well, you see down the bottom there, there's like ladders. Like yeah. Ladder. So they've yeah. climbed up. There's not much room there. She's in a skirt as well. I don't know what she's holding. She's holding something. He's holding a selfie stick, and yeah, snap the photo. That is. I can't even look well, over. She's an idiot. I suggest she gets a different boyfriend. Hmm. He's got a bit of a knob sort of face on him, hasn't he? Yeah, he's either that's not that's knob face. That's what his name is. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. All right. So that's so that's crazy stuff. So if you think about taking selfies, just watch what you where you are and what you're doing. The uh, the you don't whole take a selfie. Take it in bed. If you've got a pretty girl, take a selfie in bed. Yeah. Once you've got her, once you've got her in bed, you don't need to impress her anymore. Well, that's right. That's right. You've you've got it. You've won. Now, look, the whole that whole story was apparently because these researchers are trying to produce a, an app that will alert you if you're in a dangerous place. Well, when you're about Wait a minute, to... if you don't know that being on top of a building without a harness is a dangerous place, uh, where are you getting two bucks to buy an app? <laughs> well, hopefully it might be free, but. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, I don't know. Like, what? I think it's probably more that you know, if you're on the edge of a cliff or something, you know, you know, the, the app might just go, bzz, bzz, you know, clamp. I don't know. I just as soon as I see a cliff or something of a great height that I can't jump off without hurting myself, I'm out of there. Doctor Huxtable. It's just, <laughs> you know, what have I got to prove, really? Mm. Now, what else did you? You had another story did you eric we're going back to iphones i had a last sorry about the iphone the apple bias uh, but i need a good laugh and uh <laughs> this one is next year apparently <clears throat> iphone 8 to feature all glass casing in order to support wireless charging see i told you they're getting rid of the ports completely yes <laughs> well yes so you can't even plug it in now you won't be able to. Well, next thing they're going to get rid of is the the earpiece and the the speaker piece, the microphone. You know, you know what it'll be in in five years. It'll be you go into the Apple store and say, "I like the iPhone 12, please." You go, "Yeah, sure," and then she'll hand you something that's completely invisible, like a it'll be a pretend phone. <laughs> you know? And you go, "There it is," and you pretend to grab it, and you pretend to start it up. You go, "Oh yeah, gee, thanks for that." And it says, "Actually, nothing there," because it's just slowly, 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 it's just disappearing. Hmm. But so, yeah, yeah. iPhone eight supposedly with, with uh, Pent- Pentagon must be the name Pegatron being the exclusive supply of the wireless charger, according to the latest research research note by KGI Security Securities Ming Chin Kuo. <laughs> There's according a- to Kuo, the transition from metal to glass casing is key. If Apple is to introduce a wireless charging feature next year, what about what about the iPhone nine? You go and say, "Can I have an iPhone nine, please?" So I hold your hand out, and they just like sprinkle some imaginary. Tim yeah, I think Cook it's dust. called bull dust. <laughs> they just sprinkle that, and they go, "Yeah, it's invisible." There you go. 
There you go. There's your phone. That'll be a thousand dollars, please. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. You took Amex. Twelve hundred by then. Yeah. That's... Oh, you want to be able to talk to people with it? No, oh. no, no. Just text only. Oh yeah. Well, that'll be an extra two hundred. Need some more dust. No, that, no I message only, not text. I message. <laughs> Let's bring a bit more bull dust. There you go. <laughs> that's what. That's what happens. I'm going uh, to get a job what, as a cleaner. They're up to. Oh, I just I just don't want to go to the dark side and buy an Android. No, you know, you know, I was oh, I don't know what I'm going to do because you. What was I was talking to you about those Google Pixels? You keep I keep yeah, reading. Nice looking phone. I keep reading stories about them, and it looks good. It looks good. It looks good. And I think I think last time I said yes, I think that look could be the way to go. I think you said something about Android. And I went, oh, that's right. I forgot that about yeah, Android. As soon as you say Android, I think viruses and malware. That's the problem. Yeah, that there's, is. There's somewhere a hack mm. that I could put iOS software on an on a Samsung or a Pixel phone. That'd be the dream come true. Hmm. And, and utilize all the the hardware features on that phone That's as right. well. You know, mm. look, you know, a headphone, for example. You know, basic it, stuff like breathing. We're going to go into the <laughs> analogies of Tim Cook's brain here again. But do you think that <laughs> do you think that he part of their problem? With their development of new stuff, do you think part of it is Tim's just going? Well, Android's so far advanced, right? So they got this, 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 and this that we haven't. Do you think so he, we'll do the opposite? But do you, yeah, but do you think he's going? Well, we can't bring out the NFC chip now because it look like we're playing catch up. So we're just yeah. not going to do it. So we'll invent something else completely ridiculous. Yeah, like oh, Instead what? Of just, the, see, what Steve Job used to do? He didn't care about any of that. He 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 knew he was bringing out a product. It was the same as everyone else. But what he said was, we'll bring out the same thing, but ours is going to be better. Mm. Well, that's right. Because Timmy doesn't want to do that. He goes, no, no, ours has got to be different. What? Pixel? Well, it's it's got to, very it, good to be different, but if no one's buying it, you're the, different, all right. The Pixel's got a, a headphone jack. <laughs> no way. We're getting rid of ours. Oh, and, and replaceable battery. Hmm. Well, as soon as the Pixel come out with a replaceable battery, you know what happened? Mm. Tim Cook ordered ordered mm. that ordered all future iPhones to be double welded close because <laughs> you'll never get the you battery out of mine. No holes anywhere. Nah, that's and crazy. Has, I will only buy an iPhone iPhone whatever they call it next year eight if it's a hologram and waterproof. Remember I said this the other year, six months ago. Mm. It's a hologram and it's waterproof and it charges. While it's in the water, off the bubbles of my farts. <laughs> not my well, you, you better watch out you don't overcharge it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, that's right. I won't have any vindaloo that night. That's right. Yeah, all right. So when I have a phone, eh? Well, there you go. So we, but we just bagged the crap out of it all, but I'm, I'm still probably going to get an iPad tomorrow. <laughs> that's the well, you be, Hey, you better get one now before they get rid of the headphone, mate. Well, yeah, this is right. This is right. Maybe I should uh, update me Mac Mini before they get rid of the Display Port. <laughs> <laughs> you can't plug in a can't plug in a screen. No, you got to think of what it's doing. A mental. Yeah, that's right. You got to you got to just just use your mind to just yeah and, and yeah just just project into your brain what the computer's displaying. That's oh, right. Yeah. And see. The bird at the genius bar will just say, "You can do it." <laughs> Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Hang on a sec. I've got something to help. <laughs> bit more, oh, yeah, bit more bit, bull bit dust. More bull dust. <laughs> yeah, grab a free bag on your way out. That's right. All right, geez. All right, well, I think <laughs> obviously you can tell that there was pretty light on stories. We've done everything. So, unless you've got anything else you want to have a bang on about, Eric. What, what, so, no, so, no, that's it. So, that's we won't it. be hearing from you for a little while. you got to take a Christmas. Oh, next break. week you'll hear from me. I'll, 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 I'll make a massive commitment. Do my best to be here for next week. All right. And good after stuff. that, you will not see me till late January. Rightio. Till inauguration day. Yes, right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I'm, uh, um, I might I might think about uh, getting a ticket on a truck train. On the- <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Well, that's, yeah. What else is there? Nothing. That's it. Nothing I else. Think we'll, we will report back next week on the. Um, Success or the failure of the Apple sale on Friday? Yes, which is, which is for us at the moment. It's tomorrow, so we'll see how tomorrow, that goes. Yes. At midnight tonight, actually, it'll be on. It'll be up. Mm. So that'll be bid. So eleven o'clock Queensland time. 
Sometimes it's good to be uh, an animal. Yes. Does New Zealand have Apple stores? Yes. Oh, online stores they do, yeah. Well, they'd be two hours ahead. Oh, so, maybe even three. So it's nearly it's nearly midnight there. Maybe we can have a sneak oh, peek. If you go to Apple New Zealand, let's have a look, shall we? Quickly. Yes, we'll do that and then we'll, we'll get out of your face. Even though we're, we are running under time, but that doesn't matter. It's it's fluid, this show, isn't it? It's it's, it's in a state Apple of New Zealand. fluidity. Here we go. We've got Apple New Zealand. Let's see if they've updated their store. Uh, MacBook Pro. What time what is, is it in New Zealand? No, it's still not there. What is the time in New Zealand? Maybe it's 9 o'clock or something. I'm not sure. No, it'd be at least 11. So it's 10 here, so it'd be at least 12. It'd be 12. Midnight if it's two hours. Yeah. Or maybe it's five minutes to go. It's 9.56. So right. it's 11.56 over there if it's two hours. Right. Oh. But apparently, like, I was looking at uh, past past deals, like in the UK and everything, like $150 off. Apparently it's some really? 150 pound or something. Mm. I think there were some good deals going. But that was probably for the high-end uh, things, you know. But, yeah. yeah. Probably if you normal product, you sprinkle on the, you know. Just a bit of sprinkle. A bit of bull dust. Yeah. Bull oh dust. yeah, look at all There's your discount, mate. Now get out. You can get a <laughs> you can get a like an Xbox controller for your Apple TV. Really? What would you want that for? Well for games, oh, I for guess. The game. the games. Yeah. So you can buy online. Okay, buy online, get the discount and pick it up at the Apple store the same day. Yeah, I'm, in an hour. Oh yeah, I could do that. Wait till we see what the prices are. That's, that's what it hinges on, the prices. That's it. All right. Okay, well, let's get out right. of here. Are you, are you still looking at New Zealand? No, no, New Zealand's shut. All right. Well, there's no point anyway. Because by the time everyone listens to this, it'll be way past Friday, way past midnight on uh, Thursday night. All right, yes. so cool. So, all right, well, that's, a, that's all we have for you this week. So thanks for joining us. Thanks for getting us on the podcast and on the YouTubes or wherever. And uh, if you like the show, join us on the Facebook page. Share and share a like. Share some stories. Send me an email. Do whatever you you want. If you want to get something off your chest, tell us what you'd like to change about the show, or even if you want to come on the show and have a yak sometime, uh, just let me know. Send me an email, Glenn at AussieTechHeads.com.au, and we can accommodate most things. Uh, if you want to come on, make sure you got a mic and a headset, all right? And a good yeah. internet connection. Got to be ADSL yeah. 2 plus at least. Yes. With a camera, at least. All right. All right then, Eric. Thanks for coming in. Uh, good You're to welcome. see you. See you next week. We'll see you next week. And uh, we might have Jace or Wilbeck as well. So uh, we'll be like a little Christmas episode. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you uh, next time. Cheers. Bye for now. Bye-bye.